Hi, SCC kids. I'm Carly. And I'm Gabby. And today we're going to be learning an awesome story about Zechariah the prophet and how he heard of the coming Messiah. But first, we're going to do a little activity. For this activity, we'll need three different cups and one strip of paper. We're going to roll that paper into a tight roll, and we'll need a rubber band or piece of string and put it around it to hold it together. Now, I'm going to put it under this cup. Now, we're going to try to remember it's in this cup, but Carly's going to mix them up. Okay, do you guys remember which one it's in? Gabby, do you know? Is it in that one? No, not in that one. Oh, oh, there it is. Here we go. Now, what does a scroll have to do with our story? Well, in today's story, God gave Zechariah eight visions. Each vision had a special message from God to his people. But in one of the visions, Zechariah saw a flying scroll, kind of like the one in our activity today. We've been talking about our big picture question these past few weeks, and I bet everyone knows the answer. How is Jesus the perfect prophet? Peyton is here to tell us the answer. Jesus perfectly reveals God the Father and fulfills what the prophet spoke. Great job, Peyton. Okay, Gabby, I have a question for you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, what are some scenarios in life where we make predictions? Hmm. Sometimes we make predictions on what the outcome of sports are going to be or what the weather's going to be. Yeah, those are all good ones. But guess what? When it comes to our predictions, we never know for sure if they're going to come true. But when it comes to God's word, we know that every prophecy will be fulfilled. Like in today's story, Zachariah said the Messiah was coming, a prophecy that Jesus fulfilled later. At that time, God's people were rebuilding the temple to glorify God. But that wasn't always easy. Sometimes they needed encouragement. So God sent them Zechariah. Today we're going to learn that Zechariah said the Messiah is coming. Let's listen in on our story. When God's people stopped rebuilding God's temple, God sent prophets to give his people a message. Zechariah was one of the prophets who told the people what God said. This was God's message. Return to me and I will return to you. God reminded the people about their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents. The prophets told them to stop sinning, but they did not listen. So God had punished the people for their sin. Don't be like them, God said. One night, God gave Zechariah some messages through visions. Zechariah saw eight visions. Each was a different message from God about something that was going to happen. In the first vision, Zechariah saw a man riding on a red horse. Behind him were other horses. They had been patrolling the earth. Everything was calm and quiet, but soon the Lord would punish his enemies. The Lord's house would be rebuilt and his cities would be blessed again. In the second vision, Zechariah saw four horns. These stood for Israel's enemies. Zechariah also saw four craftsmen who would defeat those enemies. Next, Zechariah saw a man going out to measure Jerusalem. But the city could not be measured because it was too big for walls. Instead, the Lord would be a wall of fire around it. In the fifth vision, Zechariah saw a solid gold lampstand which showed how all the Lord's plans would happen because of his spirit. Then Zechariah saw a flying scroll, which was a curse on everyone who disobeyed God. In the seventh vision, a woman sat inside a basket. She represented the wickedness of those who worship false gods. She was lifted up and taken back to Babylon. In the eighth vision, Zechariah saw four chariots, like the horses of the first vision. They would patrol the earth. God told Zechariah to collect silver and gold from the people. Use the gold and silver to make crowns, he said, and place them on the head of Joshua, the high priest. Joshua's crowns meant that a special king was coming to bring peace for everyone. 
Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey, Zechariah said. God promised to bless his people and punish the rest of the nations for their sin. One day, everyone will worship the Lord. God was going to help his people and give them a different kind of king. Jesus is the king who came and rode humbly on a donkey, just as Zechariah said. Because Zechariah's prophecy came true in Jesus, we can have hope and forgiveness of sins when we trust in Jesus. Wow, that was an awesome story. Okay, Gabby, I have another question for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Have you ever felt that something was impossible? Oh, have I? Well, guess what? This is how God's people felt about rebuilding the temple. They had been away from their home for 70 years. And when they came back, they had a huge construction project. On top of all of that, their enemies didn't want them to finish the temple and they were beginning to feel a little discouraged. So Zachariah came at just the right time with the good news that the Messiah was coming. The people may have thought that the Savior was coming right away, but he actually didn't come for another 400 years. He wasn't the kind of king the people expected. He wasn't a strong political leader. He was a humble king riding on a donkey, just as Zechariah said. Now, God's prophecy came true through Jesus. We can have hope and forgiveness for our sins when we trust in Jesus. Okay, now it's time for our discussion question. How do we know Jesus is the Messiah? So talk about it with your families at home and see if you guys can come up with an answer. Okay, so now that you've discussed the question, everyone go grab a piece of cardboard, cardboard or wood and some small objects like ball, like a ball, a toy car, or cotton balls that would roll down the cardboard. All right, so what you guys are gonna do at home is make your cardboard into a ramp, kind of like this, and you're gonna grab your objects to roll down the ramp and try to guess which one's gonna make it to the bottom first. So first we have a pom-pom and a ball. Which okay. one do you think is gonna win? I think the pom-pom's gonna win. Ready, set, go. Oh man, I think the ball won. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do it again with a rock and a toy car. Okay, Gabby, which one's gonna win? I think the rock's gonna win. Okay, ready, set, go. Ooh, that was pretty close, but I think the car might've won. Yeah. See, sometimes we think we know it's gonna happen. Like we thought the car would make it down first, but the rock won. This is how it is in our lives. We think we know God's plans, but really only God knows his plans and his timing is always perfect. Okay, now we're gonna close our time in prayer. Dear God, thank you for keeping your promise when you sent your one and only son, Jesus, to save us from our sins. Help us to put our faith and trust in you. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, kids. And now let's start working on our memory verse. Hey kids, it's time to work on our memory verse. We've been working on this verse for four weeks now. You guys have been doing so well. I love that this verse is a reminder that God knows you so personally that he has a plan for your life. Let's work on our verse together, okay? I know the plans I have for you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's try it one more time. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. This week, if you send me a video of you saying the verse from memory, may find a prize in the mail for you. Okay, so send me your videos this week.